That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. What it do? This is your brother Bishop of Bishop Zone TV. And wow. Wow, really? 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 Look, it seems like I always got to say this. And I shouldn't have to say it because, I mean, it's just self-evident at this point if you follow my channel for quite some time now. But this is not directed at every black woman. But, sisters, y'all got to start calling out these. Or let me just say, y'all have to be more vocal about ratchet-ass women like this. I seen some comments on this video. Some, some people were accusing this brother of cheating on this sister. I don't know what went on. All I saw was a belligerent wildebeest of a woman attacking a black man, attacking a black man, and the brother kept his self restraint the whole time. Like I don't, I don't see how you can even if this man cheated on her or whatever. How is this justified? How is this justifiable? Like seriously, like I understand, like. I get it if you're angry, you're pissed off, but you embarrass yourself like that in public. And then you get all up in this man's face with so much toxic energy. Man, talk about double standards. This is double standards at its finest. Like imagine if this was a man coming at his woman, right? Coming at a woman he who cheated on him. If this was the case, which I don't know necessarily if this was the case or not, but imagine if, yeah, this man, imagine if a man saw his girl and just decided to go off on her in front of everybody because she cheated on him. Put his hands on him because she put her hands on him in the video, you see. Oh, man, come on. Come on. That's not right. Yeah, it's not right. She cheated on him, but two wrongs don't make a right. Two wrongs don't make a right. Where nobody stepped in to say, hey, enough is enough. You go your way, let him finish doing what he's doing. Nobody stepped in. Matter of fact, people were laughing. I understand some of it was nervously laughing at the situation because it is mad awkward. You know, I understand the reservation of people not wanting to intervene in domestic situations, but God dang, she following the man all around. She putting her fan, she, I mean, straight disrespecting the man. For what? For what? And you wonder why some brothers see certain women a certain kind of way. Now, I'm not saying that all black women are like this. But y'all got to be more vocal about women like this and say, look, this is trash. Somebody should have stepped in. Some, a woman should have stepped in and said, hey, sister. And I understand she would have, look, she would have probably came at your ass too. I get it. But dang, I'm telling you right now, if the roles were reversed, sisters would have been asking, where are the black men at? Why didn't any black man step in? Even if this was involving a married couple, people would have been like, y'all those men around and y'all didn't do anything. Y'all didn't do nothing. So I'm asking, where was all the women at? They ignored the man and the man was like, help. Like, look, get her out of, like, he was got get out of my face. The man was walking away from her. I'm telling you, man, he exercised a lot of restraint. Kudos to that brother. You know, shaggy haircut and all. Is he from Dallas with that haircut? But that's beside the point. The point is the brother, the brother did everything right. I seen some people say, hey, man, he should have just left. This man was in line, minding his own business. Then she came up there, ratchet energy, Tatiana. BBL and all just all in a man's face disrespect him you know I've dealt with a situation similar to that before and I, I'm gonna tell a real quick story and I'm gonna get up out y'all way but I, I I remember it so vividly this 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 memory will will live with me forever but when I was in school I was a young lad a young brother I used to be cool with this girl and she was a girl a young young lady at the time I, I had to be in no 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 more than 10th grade 
And me and this young lady used to talk every day after school, you know, waiting on my parents, waiting on our parents. So we used to talk, chop it up. And, you know, at the time, I didn't know she was feeling me. I just thought, hey, we we cool. We just conversating. You know what I mean? I, You know, I was a young kind of awkward little lad at times. So I, could, I didn't pick up on, you know, clues when it came to women, y- young ladies. I didn't pick up on those cues. You know, I was, you know, just kind of, you know, wet behind the ears. So we just talk every day. You know, I'm making a laugh, being my silly self at the time, you know, being my charismatic type of self. And just randomly one day, you know, she was like, she asked me if I had a, a, a sister because it's this it's this girl that looks similar to me. And I was just wondering if that was that was your sister. And I jokingly said, no, I don't. I don't have no sister. It's just me. I'm the only child. I'm just joking. And by the time I could be like, hey, you know, by the way, I'm just joking. My dad showed up and they're like, hey, I got to go. You know, didn't think anything of it. You know, cool. The next day goes by. I got a fresh ball fade. You know, this is around time south south fades and all that. But I got a fresh fade. My shit is bald in the back. Clean. Low cut. And I'm chilling. Waiting on my dad to pick me up. And then out of nowhere, I just feel this pop. I'm like, God damn. What the? What? I just feel this big pop sensation on my head. I mean, it was like a crater just was was engraved in my head. And I turned around and it was the young lady who I've been talking to for months, just chopping it up. And she slapped the shit out of me. And I was like, what the hell is your problem? I'm like, what is your problem? Mind you, it's other people, associates, friends in the in the, in the vicinity who saw this. And, and, and she was like, knowing she was in the wrong, she immediately turned into a victim and said, how did you lie to me? Why would you lie to me? Why would you lie to me? You told me you didn't have a sister. You had a sister. And I'm like, what the f- what the fuck uh, is you? Is you serious? Is you serious? Like, see, right now I'm in that place right now. I'm, I'm right there now. I can't even I can't even get out of the place right now. And I said, are you serious? Are you? Have you lost your damn mind? You slapped me over that. And she really slapped me. And I still to this day, I don't understand why she slapped me, but she felt entitled to slap the shit out of my damn head all because what like i would like we were in a relationship with some shit and that's the problem keep your hands to yourself no matter if you're a man or a woman i don't believe in hitting women but i also feel like there's a certain line even as a woman you can't cross and some women will just continue to cross that line some women just feel like they could just touch a man hit a man aggressively and a man shouldn't hit back ladies you have to understand Again, I I don't condone violence against women. I have sisters. I have I have a mother. I have aunties. I have female cousins. Um, I cherish women. I have I have daughters. I love women. I would never put my hands on a woman, but men are human beings. You can you cannot just poke at a bear and expect for a bear not to bite at some point. And that's the whole point of this video is respect people's boundaries respect men's boundaries respect women's boundaries this is unacceptable let those roles be reversed you know it would be completely different nobody would be sitting there laughing at the situation like they were on their video whether it be nervously or not i've said enough let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe until next time holla